Hello, us a world we have here today. Florian Effenberger from Office Libre, Libre <laughs> Office. <laughs> well, at the first, I would like to ask you, Florian a few questions about you. Could you introduce yourself? Tell us a few words about you when you started yeah. with Office Libre. So yeah, my name is Florian. Um, I started back in 2004 working back then on OpenOffice Org, and had various roles there. In the end, I was the lead of the marketing project and the lead of the distribution project. And in September 2010, when we started the Document Foundation at LibreOffice, I was one of the founders, and right now I'm at the board of directors of the Document Foundation, mm -hmm. and been with LibreOffice from day one. Uh, if you would start to talk about motivation, what was the motivation for you to get involved? I think we have such a strong community, and um, so many things have been driven the last years also with OpenOffice or by this community. It was actually exactly <laughs> actually, <laughs> that community that uh, made that brand very well recognized, very strong. And um, from the very first day when OpenOffice Org started, there was the promise to have an independent foundation where every stakeholder, all the community members, have equal rights, equal roles, but that never got fulfilled. And then, you know, we had uh, several corporations uh, being drivers behind the project, but it somehow didn't fit. And right now, we have a model where those people are actually driving things. The community that stands behind the product, just look here at Foster, we have so many people in our dev room, at our booth, promoting uh, LibreOffice, working with and on and for LibreOffice. And that was the motivation to finally have an entity that really fits to the values the community has. And so I, I immediately joined and many other colleagues did so as well and that's why we are I think so strong today. Our next keyword is happiness. What makes you really happy to, in, in terms of uh, Office Libre? Uh, speaking about the community, it's easy. You have friends all around the world. It's a really large and diverse community. We have people from Brazil, uh, people from Europe, uh, North America, people from uh, China are working on LibreOffice and so on. So you really have many cultures, many different views, many different people with totally different backgrounds. They, uh, you have, we have lawyers, we have doctors, we have of course uh, professional developers who are hired by corporations, we have uh, students, uh, we have retired people, so it's a really vivid mixture and that, that's fascinating. And uh, I guess you, you saw that the booth is really a good atmosphere. You are re not just colleagues, you're really friends. Mm -hmm. And of course, the product that is created by this community, it's used worldwide. If you use any Linux distribution, then chances are very high. You have LibreOffice, many users on Windows and, and Mac use LibreOffice. So the software you actually do is used by millions of people worldwide, and that's fascinating. Oh, it gives you a good feeling, that, that's a motivation to to. Oh, I can imagine it. Yeah. Well, our next question would be um, a histor more historical question in terms of the old open office. Um, could you tell us why open office was given to Apache and not to the document foundation? <laughs> that's a question you probably should, those, uh, should ask those giving it to Apache. It's really hard to <coughs> estimate or give a statement from our side. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what I want to emphasize is that all, nearly all the community went with the Document Foundation from day one, it still is with the Document Foundation. Mm -hmm. So anything that has been created the, the pre previous years has been basically moved to TDF and I think this shows a very strong community will. Um, it's sad that we have at the moment LibreOffice and OpenOffice Org, of course, that we have two projects. I consider that what we have done is, is the right way, we, we went the right way. Reasons, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Reasons behind it, I, I don't know, you have to ask Oracle, you have to ask Apache um, why they're doing this. It's really hard for me to, to judge and I, I'd rather focus on what we do and, and why we do it and how we move forward. I think that's, that's the most interesting part. Yeah, we're slowly coming to the end. Etienne, I would like to ask you a more future questions. question. Uh, future in terms of ACTA, do you think that ACTA could be a problem, could become a problem for LibreOffice? And what do you think about it? I think that worldwide uh, we see lots of legal threats and issues. It started with the software patents years ago, which is still a topic. It's probably not that popular in the media anymore, but it's still a topic. We have those new uh, legal issues that really can, can, open, can open a door to many, many other problems. And I think uh, people should be aware of that. They should 
do something against that. And especially raising awareness is important because for many people, well, there's a new law, what, we have new laws every day, but the impact on not only those people individually, but also on organizations like ours that mm. do software, that, that do stuff people use, um, they should really be made aware that this could be a problem. And I'm, I'm very critic to, to many of the current legal plans. It's, we also had the, the SOPA and people mm -hmm. discussion and there are many other yeah. things going on. I think even beyond what we see in the general media and the various countries, there's even more. And uh, we should all be aware and uh, we should, we, we all have a voice and we should use it. I think that's, that's important. Well, thank you very much. We had here today Florian Effenberger from LibreOffice. Thank you very much for giving us the Pleasure. opportunity to have Thank an interview with you and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>